Hello, my name is Justin Dawkins. I'm a ranger with the Department of Conservation and Recreation. Uh, the Department of Conservation and Recreation is a state agency that manages uh, the state parks, beaches, pools, and uh, ice skating rinks uh, within the state of Massachusetts. Uh, today we're at Belle Isle Mars uh, doing a program called um, Outdoor Skills. Essentially what that is is a uh, way for people to learn some of the basic skills so that they can then come out to the parks, uh, the beaches and forests, and uh, feel comfortable that they uh, can come out and uh, be safe, get from point A to point B. Uh, if they do get lost, what to do. Hopefully uh, have the skills not to be lost, uh, the various equipment and uh, skills that you will be needing for a day hike. And some of those skills would be uh, just some basic first aid, uh, some knot tying, just, uh, just in case you come across any instances where you would need to use those skills, uh, fire building, and uh, some shelter making. Also, we'll be having a big component on uh, mapping compass just uh, because I feel that if you know where you need to go or you know how to read a map, you're more apt to go out and enjoy yourself and uh, do a little bit more exploring uh, because you have that skill set. So I'm just out here trying to give those people uh, who like to come and learn a little bit just the opportunity that I've had when I was younger, uh, which helped me to uh, be at the position that I'm at now. There are a couple of knots that I think, at least the basics right now, I think as far as being in the outdoors, you should know. Um, especially if you come across any instance where you find yourself in a hole and somebody drops you on a rope and they say, tie yourself to it. So, in case it ever happens, you'll have the knot to know. Or at least be able to choose between a couple of the knots. So do we have any knot gurus in here? No, a few. Just not need to know. Getting by. <laughs> and a knot not need is not I'm, not a, I'm a need to know knot. <laughs> All right, so uh, the first knot we're going to go over is called the bowler. Uh, looks like bow line, but unless you're on a boat, nobody's going to call it that. So we'll call it the boat. Um, essentially what it is, it's a closed uh, loop knot that will not cinch. So ultimately what you can do is you can tie it around something and still keep that loop so it won't close. So say you were to tie it around your waist or around your arms to get pulled up or you need just a little bit of support to hang on to something, that's not going to then cinch up on you and restrict uh, the circulation or your uh, that right here. Because this knot is going to a fixed place, you're going to take this and you're going to literally just make a loop right over top. Okay? It's very simple. You just loop it just like that. Now the key is you want your loop end to be on top. You don't want it to be underneath or behind it. Okay? You want it to be, when, as you're looking at it, you want this line, the loop, to lay on top. Okay? So then what you're going to have, you're going to have this little hole and this little rabbit right here. So then what the rabbit's going to do, it's going to pop out of the hole. Now because you're making a closed loop circle, this is not, you're not going to want to pull this all the way out because what you're making down in this lower portion right here is your loop. So what you're going to do is you're going to come out of the hole and you're going to then go around the tree from behind behind the tree and then back down the hole again. Try again. How hold that up? You ready? I'll show you. Ready? Did you do it? Like that. And then you can make your loop. First I make a loop. Okay. And you wanna, I've got the wrap. You're going to want to go like this. See this? That's your loop. You're going to just lay that right across like this. Did you want to make a B? Did you make a B? Perfect. And the rabbit's okay. going to do, 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 up and out through the loop. So we're come out. Hole, around the top of the bee. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And he's going back in the hole again. And then you have. Oh, I think I meant it. Oh, I know. And then I was pulling two things. There you go. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. So I can make the hole yeah, smaller yeah. or larger. Yep. And you're going to grab those two. Yeah. And this one up here. Pull. Did you see that? Awesome. There you go. 
uh -huh. it, it becomes uh, a little confusing. Okay, so you just throw it over. So I just throw it over. Yeah. I keep it all tight right there. Small yeah. loop. That way I don't have. Uh, you know, this can be. Yep. You know, this can yep. be. This is my. This is all tailored. That, that. You know, I'm not really concerned right. with it. I just bite this there, right. and I make make the loop. Right. Nice and tight. <laughs> and just come on up. I did the first See how I, I'll even like stabilize that just so I don't have to right. pull it over to loop that like that and then have excessive tail. So I'll just pull that and just loop it in. Now I just put it back down. Then when I do it, just like laid out and small, it's just it's, you know you can see it you can see it clearly right there. And then you can see right where and this is where the key is when you're cinching the knot. When I came out of the hole. And, then and I just went back down, yeah. I created this loop here, Try doing right? It. right? Instead of like and it, your from this line to this line. Right. And ultimately what I'm doing is I'm going to cinch that loop. So I have to right. grab so both of these right. and this one. Yeah. And then that's yeah. right. Okay. So if you want, and then that one. Wait, wait. Put it once, put it twice, take this, put it And not, uh, definitely one of those skills that, uh, yeah. If you don't practice them, you lose them, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a great skill to, uh, to, to know. I think we have a bundle of tributes. Okay, so uh, next next week, I hope to see all of you here. Uh, Thank you. What's because next week? Next week, we're going to go a little bit more uh, into maps, compasses, um, the reasons behind the different types of maps and all the different uh, aspects of each map, and uh, how, to, uh, how to get from point A to point B. Uh, go over some first aid. Um, yeah, and I think the first aid will pretty much take up also a good portion of the time. So those will definitely be the two two main things that we'll be working on. Thank you. Very much. No problem. Thank you. A little bit. I, I felt empowered enough so that I could go out into the woods and, and enjoy myself and uh, not have to really worry about the unknowns because I had the knowledge of uh, the to be those. You know, I wasn't really afraid of of being wet and cold because I knew how to dress properly, you know. So once I had those skills, it just empowered me to go out there and uh, have a good time. So I just wanted to give back a little bit of that. So you basically, uh, so you basically an inner city, an inner city guy? Yeah. Yeah, I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, moved on up to Boston. Lived in Boston for about six years. So, uh, but yeah, definitely a city kid. Uh, had a park, uh, Oregon Ridge, which was uh, in the county, about a half hour away from uh, where I had grew up. And uh, one of the gentlemen out there, Kirk, uh, Kirk Dreyer, who was a naturalist, you know, just kind of let me watch him do all of his outdoor skills and ignited that passion. And uh, yeah, I've taken a couple of seminars and classes uh, ranging from wilderness first aid, uh, wilderness first responder. Uh, to uh, rocks and ropes uh, specialists in safety uh, to emergency water safety. So definitely t taking classes and educating myself, but as far as the academics of it, yeah, definitely kind of self-taught. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. No problem.